Live arena. Gotta do it. I hate doing it, but we're gonna do it. I do want Marius. I think Marius is an awesome champion. You guys have seen that video I did where I was I borrowed Charmop, uh, Charmop's Marius, took him into live arena. I think I did a, a Hydra test on him too. But yeah, here we are. We're gonna do it. I haven't done live arena in a while. And uh, I hate going up against low level people because it's like, it, it's like if I win, bro, you beat somebody who was a level one. If I lose, bro, you uh, you lost to someone who's level 85. But then a lot of the times, these level lower level champion or level lower lower level players are um, absolute whales. So we'll see. Like he's got a Siffy, and he's got a Harima. Let's go ahead and take in with us Duchess. Yeah, we'll take Duchess with us. So we'll see. I'm not the best at Live Arena. I'm actually pretty fucking bad when it comes to Live Arena or just PvP in general. I get, I see my Yumiko bend more, or I see my um, Armand's bend more than I, I see Yumiko bend. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this works. And my Yumiko is pretty quick, so. Okay. Come on. UDK. Doing things. Let's reflect that back at Siffy. Let's go ahead and get rid of Mithraela. And swipe away at Siffy. Throw it on auto there. Yeah. I, mean, I got lucky. There we go. If I could just survive, I can... Uh, Stay alive long enough to be able to take care of Sun Wukong, but he's probably going to shoot me. Harima's going to... Oh, that didn't work out that way. Okay. Harima's going to A2 me. Yeah. Then you're going to speed boost. Alright. So we can do block buffs with the buff. Let's do this one. Let's take off these debuffs. And let's just see what this does. Oof, not, en not enough buffs there, man. Not enough buffs. Well, I won't waste your guys' time anymore. We'll just take this. One can hope. One can hope. And then we have a uh, Necrit here. Hmm. Oh, that was a good choice. this get some uh buffs on boom bang check it out boop 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 nice you uh, deflected or uh, sent that back Good choice, good choice. Frozen? What? Skadoosh. Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Hmm. Yeah, this guy hits hard. Like, like really hard. Nice fight. This is going to be a speed battle. Whoever goes first is going to win. Probably going to be him. Let him take it. Oh, nice. Nobody got frozen. Well, I mean, he's got no accuracy, so... And even if he did, freaking uh, Foley would have probably done something. 
boom, boom. Look at that. Took my two turn stone skin. And let's hit the A2. But if uh, we can out survive him and get more two to pop off, I think we'll be okay. might be okay on this one just kind of depends it's gonna be a drawn out fight especially if he decides to um, burn the turn meter out now I don't know if that's him deciding or thinking about it giving himself extra time or decidedly trying to burn out the time but uh, if, if it turns out that he's trying to you know waste time then I'm gonna waste his time too I'll probably end the recording Okay, so it doesn't look like he's trying to waste time. And we'll probably aim down on uh, well, Kaimar, so he can't uh, revive us. Or, sorry, uh, take off the A2. Or, sorry, use his A2 to remove our shit. That's that shit we don't want. And then both of these guys can be quite annoying as well. So we'll try our best to uh, get rid of these guys too. I just don't know who to prioritize. I think probably Hefrac, because I'm, I'm assuming he's going to go faster than everybody else. So maybe we get rid of him first. And then try to work down a... Uh, Mimerica? Uh, no, what's her name? Michaela? Nicola? Marinix. Oh, I forgot her name. Is your A2 available yet? Yes, it is. Hey, look at that. Aim down on more two? No, oh, Yumiko. Okay. Interesting. Skadoosh. And Skadoosh. Dude, this team is such a dick. Like, my, my team is legit a dick. Like, I'd be so mad if I was going up against me right now. The conditions are just perfect. Push Hefrak back. Boom. Push Hefrak back again. Two. Dish, dish. Yeah, I think it's safe to just throw it on auto from here. Yeah, it was a good fight. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, not entirely, but... Like, it went on for too long. Like, three, three and a half minutes is way too long for a fight, especially... Because she is going to... As soon as she takes a turn, unless she gets sheeped, then it's a problem. Oh, nice. That was a good option. Now, Sun Wukong will probably hit that A3. He hit the A2. Okay. A2? I would too, to be honest. I would too.
Dude, Harmon's is nasty. As soon as he takes a turn, it's over. Yeah, no, it's over. What are we doing here? Because you know how Trunda does her A2 and then it spreads, right? And then her her spread, to her bleed damage does, like, even more damage. I wonder if it's the same thing with Sun Wukong. Like, is his splash damage more powerful? You know what I should have done? I should have done Warlord's A3 first, and then Yuma go for reset. That would have been a better synergy. It's protected, bro. Come on. Oh, the taunt. Keeping us up. Okay, so Arby's about to die. Taurus back? Taurus back, I mean. I would hit Sun Wukong here. Got the counter. Let's hit the... Let's hit the Hex first. That way any potential freezes get redirected onto Taurus. Then we can hit the A2. Then we can hit the A3. Now we can reset and repeat. But let's let's do a little bit of healing first. Yeah. I feel like we lucked out on that fight. I was not in control. I'm not in control of that fight. Lucked out for sure. Now the hard hard thing is here that um the hard problem problem yeah that, uh, i don't really have any buffs to go off of so in terms of uh trying to take down the enemy with my cars is going to be a little bit hard without a sufficient amount of buffs now what we can do here is place the hex so any stuns that Mikage does place is going to get redirected onto Duchess. Yeah, so now she takes the stun. So I'm a little bit okay for now with this. I don't think I hit the reset on the opposite team yet, which might be an issue depending on how hard this uh, Sun Wukong hits, which is pretty fucking hard, dear god. And once it comes back... Wait, yeah, I see Makage being here is just, uh... Now she just CCs the shit out of me. Yeah, and now I'm pretty much locked out, so. It's a good plan, to be honest. It's one that I would do myself.
Oof. Good choice. Is this a bot? Am I going up against a bot? He's got all level 50. Oh, maybe that's his thing. He's only doing level 50. That's a fast Padre. Well, actually, all these other champions I have aren't fast, so... Come on, hit it. Oh, he didn't. I thought he was going to hit and Cupidus would uh, respond. So even if he puts up... Um, even if Helicath puts... Up, oh, shoot. Let's get rid of Helicath. Oh, I don't hit hard enough. Damn. Hit that uh, A3 or A2. He's going to hit the A2, yeah. Wow. I did not believe that Ronda was going to survive that. That's interesting. Good choice. Wow. Good for you, dude. Good for you. You won. I mean, granted, I didn't choose my usual team, but... All the same, still, gotta give him props. All right, what am I doing here still? Let's go. So let's get rid of um, you first. Does he revive? Who is this guy? A stun all around, wow. These mythicals, dude. I'll tell you. Hmm. Now we're completely, like, locked out. Shit. It's like a mini Dark Fae. He's putting in work. Oh, this guy's gonna support his way to death. Support my way to death. He's gonna kill me with just the support champions. It's crazy. Oh, he does revive. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Well. I mean, I gotta give it to Raid. At least they give me a fight every now and then. Now, let's do this.
try to get rid of Pytheon, then Kaja. Or, you know, that works too, I, I guess. Oh yeah, Queen Eva's gonna smack. Watch this. And let's see it. What are you waiting for? Go. Nice. Look at that. Take you out of the fight for a minute. Yeah, that Queen Eva hits hard. <laughs> 